Hey, this is Gibran Sajek speaking, and in this video we are going to work with some probability functions in Mathematica. We are going to solve the following three exercises. First, to define a function for the probability density function, or PDF, of the standard normal distribution, a normal with mean of zero and variance of one. Then, to graph that probability density function, or PDF, and finally, to find the probability of x being less than zero. So, here it goes. Mathematica has embedded all, all the probability functions that you may want to use. And for this particular use, the first thing that we need to do is to define a function. So let's say that I want to use the function or the, let the variable phi for defining this function and x as the input. And what I'm going to do when you want to use probability density function in Mathematica, you just need to enter the function PDF with uh, capital letters. Uh, probability density function. You open the square bracket and the first input is to define what kind of distribution you want to use. In this case we're talking about a standard normal distribution. So I'm going to work with a normal distribution. As you can see here it says normal distribution as the first option, but you can use several others. For example, you can use the Poisson distribution, you can use the exponential distribution, you can use the gamma distribution. You have several different functions here in Mathematica that you can use. Right now, I want to use the normal distribution. So the first thing that this is going to ask me is what are the parameters of the normal distribution? You can search for help here to see what are the uh, parameters that you need to use. But we already know that it is a mean of zero and a variance of one. So it is already in there. The next thing that this is going to ask us is, OK, what is the value that you want to analyze on that PDF? And in this case, it is x, the same input that we have on this function. So uh, I don't want to show anything, so I'm just going to write a semicolon. I press shift return, and I already have this function phi that is telling me that this is the probability density function of the normal distribution. That was the first exercise. The second exercise is to graph this function to see how it looks like. So I'm using the function plot. I'm going to introduce here phi of x. When x, and I already know that if I plot this from minus 3 to 3, I'm going to have most of my data. So I press shift return and what I can see is that this is the typical uh, Gauss bell of the normal distribution that you see at every textbook. Now the last question is to find the probability of x to be less than 0. We obviously know that because of the symmetry of the normal distribution, the answer is 1 half. However, let's do it with two different ways. The first one using integrals and the second one using another function from Mathematica called CDF, the cumulative density function. So let's do it. The first way to do it is using an integral. So I'm going to write a definite integral here. Uh, I know that I want from uh, minus infinity up to zero. So I'm writing minus infinity up to zero. Remember that the minus infinity is written with escape minus inf, I'm so sorry, escape inf escape. Then here I'm going to use escape phi escape, the function that I have previously defined, and this is with respect to x. And as well, I'm going to use another function that is called the cumulative probability uh, As sorry, the cumulative distribution function. And in this cumulative distribution function, uh, I, I just need to specify as well as in this one. Remember that it was PDF, then the kind of distribution, the parameters, and then the, the x that I am looking for. What I'm going to use is the same idea. The normal distribution, I'm just going to select it from here. Here it is. With parameters 0, 1. And what value I'm interested at, remember the exercise is find it out up to zero. So I'm going to say that I am interested in the cumulative distribution function up to zero. That is, this is going to tell me from minus infinity up to zero how much probability is being accumulated. When I press shift return, I must notice that both results are the same. This one using uh, integrals to define the probability and the second one using uh, a function that is already 
implied in Mathematica. So this is how you can start uh, calculating different kinds of distributions using PDF, just recapping PDF for the probability density function. Obviously, if you use a discrete function, when you plot this, you need to use a discrete plot. And the cumulative distribution function for accumulating the uh, probability from minus infinity up to any value that you're interested at. Thank you so much for listening. See you later.